We're going to turn now to a survival story straight out of a Hollywood thriller. A Colorado man was cutting trees for firewood when the trailer of his truck slipped loose, slamming down on his foot so hard that he couldn't move. Trapped alone in the forest, he had only one incredibly painful way out. ABC's Clayton Sandell has the story. In a remote part of western Colorado wilderness, John Hutt had driven his logging truck to pick up a load of trees and was caught in a freak accident. The trailer started to slide down the reach and it pinned my foot right in there. He was trapped completely alone and in unimaginable pain. Whenever I'd try to move it, then it, the pain would get worse. There was no cell service, no help, no choice. After just 30 minutes, he made a decision. Using his three-inch pocket knife, Hutt began amputating his own toes. I'd cut some and then it, you know, it'd be pretty painful, so I'd stop and take a breath or two and then keep cutting until I finally got it cut off. After cutting off all five toes, Hutt stopped the bleeding with his shirt. He collected his toes and got in the car, driving until he got within cell phone range. An ambulance met him on the road, but the toes were too badly mangled to be reattached. Hutt is not the first person faced with his own mortality to resort to self-amputation. Last summer, Jonathan Metz was in his Connecticut basement when his left arm got stuck behind a furnace. Before I knew it, I was basically trapped. After 18 hours, he began sawing through his arm. He was eventually rescued. And who could forget Aaron Ralston? Ah! Pinned deep inside a desolate Utah canyon for days, finally cutting off his right arm to get free. This is insane! A story made famous by James Franco in the movie 127 Hours. Two weeks after his accident, Hutt is healing. I think it's really important to keep your head and not just panic and start screaming and yelling. That isn't going to do you any good. His toes may be gone, but his sense of humor is as intact as his sense of survival. My insurance agent, he asked me why I called an ambulance. He said I should have called a tow truck. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.